Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing my first wash day routine video and I'm going to be doing it over my sink. I normally do this all in the shower, um, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. I'm using pretty much everything I'm using today I've used before except one thing. Um, so I kind of know how this is going to turn out. I did shampoo my hair um, and did an Olaplex number three treatment and that's it. I haven't conditioned yet. So I'm going to be showing what you guys what I'm going to be using. Um, I'm going to start with the Hair Story New Wash. I've been really liking this one. It's a, um, it's kind of like a no poo, but it's a two in one. It cleanses and conditions. So this is going to be my uh, cleanser, soft cleanser and conditioner for the day. And it's the rich one. So it's the heavier one. They have a couple different ones. They have a, the original one's a little bit lighter. And then they also have like a deep cleansing one. So that's what I'm going to be starting with. This is something new I haven't tried yet. It's the Hair Story Hair Balm, same brand. Um, and I'm going to be trying this out today and see how I like it. Yeah, so we'll see that. And then I'm going to use the Jessie Curl Spiralicious. This gel I've been using pretty regularly. It's not a super strong hold, um, but it gives a little bit more structure than just using my foam, which I will be using the Innersense Eye Create Lift. I love this one. It gives my curls so much plump volume. Um, so yeah, so this is my hair wet, no conditioner, and like I've said before, I have kind of, I have wavy curly hair, it's not really curly, it loses definition really easily. So before I used to go out and buy all of these products, um, let me tell you that my curls are high porosity, they soak up everything, um, and I can go from a 2B2C to a 3A depending on how I apply the products and which are product products I apply. So keep in mind, these are products that I use and work great on my hair. They might not work on your hair. You might have to adjust um, the level of moisture, more or less, um, as well as the strength and hold. You might need more or less. So just keep that in mind when you're trying out products is this is what works for me, um, but my hair is probably very different than yours. So let's get started. So I'm going to start out with this hair story and I'm like having to like bend over because I don't really have a great setup for doing this at home. But, okay. So I'm going to scrub this from on my scalp and then put it onto my ends. So this is what it looks like. So I'm going to dunk my head under the water. This is very interesting. Okay, wait, let me see. So I'm scrubbing this directly onto my scalp. This is meant to go on the scalp and it's meant to go all the way to the ends as well. It's gonna add a lot of moisture, so really great if you have naturally very dry scalp, but it does a good enough job cleansing. You can use it even if you don't have a dry scalp. And I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm adding water as I'm scrubbing this in. Water is a super important part of cleansing and conditioning. So make sure we have a lot in there. I'm just pulling it down to my ends. And when you scrub, make sure you use the tips of your fingers, not your nails. Nails really, um, they scratch the surface and causes abrasions. We don't want to do that to our scalps. Okay. Now I'm going to start really rinsing it out and scrubbing it off my scalp. This is super attractive, guys. So I like 
to scrunch water into my hair to get it out of my hair. Squish to condition, guys. Remember, this is a, a cleanser and conditioner. going to add a little bit into my ends because I want to condition the ends a little bit more and I start styling with my conditioner so whatever I'm using to condition my hair that's where the styling really starts so I'm just going to start massaging this into my ends and it's still the new wash from hair story Okay, so you can see my curls are nice and clumpy. I'm just gonna wipe my camera off. Okay, nice and clumpy, no frizz. If there's frizz when it's wet, there will be frizz when it's dry. All right. So I'm gonna start with the hair balm. This is gonna soften the hair. Um, oh, it's not open. So I'm going to start with this much and see how it goes. So I'm going to touch all the hair before I start squishing. Very gently. I'm not going to pull it really hard. And then I'm just going to gently scrunch in. Now, if you want to, if you want to encourage the curl, you want to be scrunching the whole time. And I'm doing like a pulsing action, like a heartbeat. I'm not squeezing the water out yet. As you can see, I'm rotating my head around as I do this. It's not just upside down, it's side to side. It's backwards. I feel like this needs a little bit more water. I feel like I'm ready to go to the next product. Um, all right. So we're gonna do some Spiralicious gel. And I never pull through my hair because I wanna keep these clumps together. Remember, I'm trying to create more curl, not elongate my curl. If you wanna elongate, pulling it through and then scrunching or just pulling it through will work fine for you. Just 
because I don't want to be able to hear really loud scrunching right now. That water is keeping my cuticle open and allowing this product to penetrate all the way. The drier your hair, the more closed that cuticle becomes and it won't accept this product. So this side, I don't know why it keeps feeling dry over here. So I'm gonna do a little bit more gel on this side because I feel like that side's not feeling that slip that I like to feel. This is not just how it looks, it's also how it sounds, the squishing sound, as well as how it feels. All of those things play together and you'll kind of learn what your hair should feel like. When you have a good day, just pay attention to how it felt, how it sounded when you were squishing. Now this is for like perfect curls, right? So obviously I'm taking extra time and care to really work this in. This is extra, don't let this scare you. And this is just how I do my hair. So if something, if you don't have to do this much work, awesome, I'm very happy for you. So this is just my hair. So now I'm squeezing the excess water out because I feel like it's very well worked in at this point. And I'm starting at the bottom, cupping all the way to the root and squeezing out. Okay. Oh. And where's my t-shirt? Okay. So now I'm gonna use my Princess Leia t-shirt. I just use whatever t-shirt I have on hand, guys. I don't really invest in a lot of expensive towels or anything, because this works fine. We're just gonna remove the excess water. I'm scrunching it, I'm not ruffling it, I'm being very careful how I touch my hair. So now, this is like my favorite product right here. Excuse my like half-naked body. Um, this is the Eye Crete Lift from Innersense. I love this. I use this on almost anyone and everyone who comes in. And it's super, it's super lightweight. Sorry, my, my phone's dying. All right. So it looks like I put, just put soap in my hair. And I'm going to do the same scrunching action. Okay, a little bit more of this back area, and then I'm done. Okay. Remove a little bit more water. I prefer t-shirt over microfiber simply because, um, it removes less moisture than a microfiber. Microfiber removes all the moisture. And I actually like to keep a little bit of moisture in for diffusing. It'll keep my clumps together better. And I'm just gonna shake it into place. Now these bangs, curly bangs, they're super annoying. So I'm gonna take a little extra time and put some more product right in the front.
I really just want them to be grown out. But this is what my hair looks like, guys. So I'm gonna diffuse and I guess I'll show a little bit of that too. So here I'm just going to be diffusing, making sure that my hair is directed 90 degrees or perpendicular to my scalp as I'm diffusing. Basically, you just want to use gravity as your best friend. It really is to create all that lift and volume, drying so your roots are away from the scalp. And that's pretty much it, guys. I just kind of do this. I usually sit on the toilet while I do this. I don't stand, but that's what I do. Okay, so I just finished diffusing. It's pretty much all the way dry. It's like 95% dry right now. The counter's super wet. Okay, so take a look. So, it's still teensy weensy bit damp here, so I might diffuse a little bit more after this, but it's kind of looking a little crazy, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start releasing this soft cast. It's not really crunchy, it's got some hold to it, which is what we want, especially if we're using gels or foams or mousses. So I'm just gonna flip over and let's start massaging my scalp. Ooh, and my scalp is still kind of like irritated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some oil. Where are you? Okay, so I'm gonna grab some oil and just put some on my fingers just to add some extra moisture because I did shampoo today before I did the treatment. So I'm gonna be using the AG Naturals oil. I'm just gonna put some on my fingers. Cool. And I'm gonna massage my scalp. It's gonna release that soft cast. Okay, so see the difference? Not a huge difference, but a good amount. So I'm gonna keep diffusing and I'm gonna come back once all these little pieces are dry. So now we're almost completely dry. Um, I get like 98% dry. So now um, I'm gonna start shaking out my hair. So this is what it looks like before I take my pick to it. So I'm gonna start styling at this point. All of this was setting my hair. This is called a hair set. Now we're gonna start styling. So I like to style with something with holds. So I'm gonna use the I Create Finish. I also use hairspray sometimes. It really just depends on how the hair came out. Today it came out pretty well. Um, so we're gonna just spritz some of this on to create some shine and hold. And I'm gonna scrunch that in and I'm gonna start scrunching out any kind of cast that I might still have in my hair. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my pick and I'm gonna lift off the root. So we're gonna go into the root and lift out until you start feeling that resistance. Day one, I don't go crazy with the pick. Um, day two, day three, if I can get to day four, I will pick through my curls. But this is just to give me that volume um, that you usually don't get on day one. Oh my gosh. Cool. So obviously if you're a stylist, you can see I need like an inch and a half off. <laughs> My curls are so sad right now. But yeah, so we got that definition. This is where all my curl definition is. So you can see all my super curly pieces and on the top, it's a lot wavier, but I'm getting a lot of my curls back, um, which is awesome. Very happy about it. Just wish it would happen like today so like you can see some of my hairs so my hairs are just like waves especially on this side I get a lot less curl over here and a lot more curl over here so yeah awesome 
I'm gonna spritz it right in the front. Those bangs like to uncurl themselves. And that is how I set my hair. So this should last me at least three days. If I'm lucky for, I used to get a good six days out of my curls and we're getting back to that. Um, and if you're a curl specialist and you want to give me a haircut when we're back out in public, I'm down because anyway, <laughs> so this is what we use. So I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see all the products that I use today. Um, and keep in mind, this is what works on me and I don't use the same products every day. So I rotate out my products a lot. So I made this video less to show you about what products I use and more to show you my technique because my technique doesn't change. Every time I try a new product, I use the exact same technique. I don't pull through my hair unless I'm conditioning, but I'm always scrunching lots and lots of water. So let me show you what I used. Out with the new wash to cleanse and condition. Then we went in with the Hair Story Hair Balm. Uh, next, we did the Spiralicious, Jesse Crumb Spiralicious Styling Gel. And then we went in with the Eye Create Lift. That was all my wet styling products. And then to release the cast, I used some of this Glow AG Naturals Oil. Um, and then to finish out, I used the Eye Create Finishing Spray from Innersense. So this is everything that we used today. Yes. I will be using the rest of my uh, quarantine time to really fine tune um, my styling um, as well as I'm probably gonna get a little haircut. As my curls keep getting curlier, this top gets curlier, which means it's starting to separate from the bottom. So this is why it's so important to get a dry cut is all of these curls look so different. And as my hair has been getting curlier, the top is shrinking more. That means the top is separating more. It's creating a shelf um, because it's getting curlier, um, which is very unfortunate. That means I need a haircut. But, you know, another thing that shows me that I need a haircut is those ends that just don't curl. They just kind of stick out there. So um, keep in mind, the more you touch, the sooner you're gonna have to wash, break, release the cast from the roots, um, shake out those roots, get yourself a pick. You will thank me later. <gasps> and yes, so that is my uh, Corona quarantine styling video. I'm so awkward. Anyway, I will try and keep you guys updated on anything I change, any new products I'm using. I really do like Hair Story, um, the Jesse Curl, AG and Innersense, those are my go-to. And I am going to be trying out more. Um, I did the do the Olaplex number three treatment today. Um, and I will continue to do that. I highly recommend that as well. And you guys have an amazing Sunday. Bye guys.